Hey guys, Shane here, Figadec 3D Printing. Today we're taking a look at Toner Plastics Limited Edition Pearl PLA. Welcome back guys, I am super excited for this filament. Uh, Toner Plastics reached out to me, they liked my other filament reviews, they said, hey, we have a new limited edition filament coming out, would you like to look at it? I said, of course, your other stuff has been fantastic. Why wouldn't I want to see more? So this is their limited edition Pearl. And from the pictures I've seen on the website, it looks truly amazing. But let's open it up and take a look for ourselves. Before we do that though, let's take a look at the box here. It's a white box, super sturdy. The previous films that I received from Toner Plastics just came in a box because they just sent them to me for the purpose of review. This is an actual retail box I received from them. It is super thick, much thicker than a lot of the other filaments that I have. It feels heavier, so I want to say that the spool might be a little bit thicker for this filament. It is one kilogram, so they might have weighed the actual filament itself for the one kilogram, or like some companies do, the spool is part of that one kilogram measurement. And then here on the side and the front, nice colorful sticker. Again, we have that nice sticker here. It says made in USA, and it looks really nice. It's really well put together. On the side, it just tells us it's PLA 1.75 millimeter pearl, lot number, and the weight. Wow, this is packaged really well. So inside of this super sturdy box, the filament is then inside bubble wrap. Now this was sealed after the fact, so I don't think they cherry picked this just for me. They all might come with this, uh, or they could have sent it that way simply because they know I live really, really far away and this filament has to go a long way to get to me. But, uh, Let's take a look. So the spool, it looks just like all the other spools from the Turner Plastics, which I don't have any of them out right now. They're all put in storage now. Uh, but it gives you here the same sticker here on the front of the spool is on the side right there of the box. So that's the same. Let's cut it open. Of course, it's nice to have a real tight suction on these bags for shipping. That way there's no risk of moisture. And oh, there it is. Okay. I thought there was an desk pack, but there it is. Desk and pack was in there. And here is the spool, here is the filament, spooled on there very nicely. Now, they said this was a pearl PLA. I have expected this to feel and look more like the uh, Beaver 3D has the silk PLA, which looks like a type of like a crafting uh, yarn, not so you say yarn, like a string that you would use. Uh, I used it when I was a kid making stuff and that, that's what it reminded me of. This does not have that feel or that look to it at all. Again, there was no window on the box. You couldn't really tell what it was gonna look like, but it definitely is a darker white, dirty white, that pearl looking color. And it is very smooth. I have expected it also to have a type of texture to it, but not at all. This feels like regular old PLA. And looking at the temperatures, it's gonna print just like regular old PLA as well. So let's put this on the printers and see how it turns out. I have to say, yet again, Toner Plastic shows up with an excellent product. I can't say enough about the filament from these guys. It really actually, I mean, it's the best filament across multiple types that I've seen so far. Uh, I'm now getting to other companies that are sending me more different types of filament so I can compare. But across the board so far, Toner Plastics has been the best and that kind of justifies the price that they ask for some of their filaments. But not to worry. After all of this, take a look down in the video description. There is a giant coupon down there for 50% off your order when you order using my coupon code. So you guys should really check that out. It is not affiliate code. The nothing comes back to me whatsoever. It is just a huge discount to you guys for watching my video. So make sure you go down below and check that out. I think I'm gonna need to change up something here so you guys can see these prints. Let me get some black map board and see what I can do. Okay, so first up, I obviously had to print my Maker Coin, and this actually came out perfectly sidewalls no issues whatsoever in there bottom layer perfect across there were a little bit of issues under here though that i'm noticing and this is pretty common with pla with my maker coin simply because of the angle that the cogs roll up it's a little bit sharp so it makes it a little hard for those filaments to kind of keep pace i mean top layer wise that wasn't too bad at all nice and shiny i really like that so next up was this eagle 
that Joel had printed a while back and I kind of remember that I was like that might be pretty cool to print. Bottom layer came out really nice again with white filaments or these type of pearlescent style filaments. Anything on your build plate whatsoever is going to show up in here because it's such a light color. So just keep that in mind. I had a little bit of apparently a little red in there, a little black on there. All of that came through onto the print. But quality wise looking at this there's I mean you can see some of the layer changes you know where the retraction occurred but you actually can't feel it which is um it's actually really weird to see that but the wings here that's focused that i mean those came those tips came out great there's no support on this model whatsoever look at the beak in there that's really nice i'm not sure if it's supposed to swoop down i'd have to go back and look at the model i'm pretty sure it is because the way it's printed there it looks like it's supposed to be but i mean look in there there's no strings whatsoever. This is with standard PLA settings. There were no extra retraction settings I had to do. Just throw my PLA settings and let it go. Now the top here, I clearly didn't do enough top layers even though this has three top layers. I've never really had a problem, but with this filament, I should have done more to get this top filled in all the way. Other than that, this was really nice. Okay, so next up, I tried this diamond and this is a vase mode print. Now this has three bottom layers. As you can see, when I say you can see anything on the build plate, you can see anything on the build plate. Apparently there was a yellow on there somehow. I'm not sure, but there was. And that you can see come through. There's a little bit of a issue on the first layer when it went down here, but I decided to let it go and see how it came out. And after it got to the third layer, you couldn't even see it anymore on the inside. And then it just started vase mode going and going and going. And as you see, there's no uh, real issue here. There is a uh, deformation, which is very common in these filaments simply because of how they're extruded. And once they cool down, they will shrink. And unless you oversize this or do something differently, you're always gonna have this in a vase mode for this style of print, at least in my experience. If you don't, I would love to know what I'm doing and I could get it to be like yours. But this is a really cool diamond again. It's hollow, so it is nice and light. Now, since I did that in vase mode, I had to try a regular old vase. But if we look at the top here, you can see there are clearly issues up here. And I think that is because of the extreme overhang and how fast I printed this. I printed this at exactly 100 millimeters per second. I did not slow down. I turned off all of the things that would automatically adjust your quality or your print speed, I should say. I turned all that off Simplify 3D. I wanted to crank this thing out as fast as I possibly could. I turned up the fan on my printer as well just to make sure that it would cool everything in enough time to make it around. But you can see the issue was when I finally got up to here, the overhang was such an extreme level an extreme angle, I should say, sorry, that it just could not extrude enough fast enough to fill those in. I noticed it when it got up probably about a quarter of an inch. I then slowed it down quite a bit and even slowed down, it could not overcome that angle to fill that in. I'm not sure if that is just the filament or if that is normal for this. Like would, how slow would you have to print? I probably have to print this top part like super duper slow in order to get this filled in all the way properly. But I will try that again in another print. But it's got some nice flex to it, as it should, being that it's a PLA blend. The three bottom layers down there, you can see there were no issues at all. But again, something black was on my build plate. So that got on there. But I mean, look at the, the actual design of this. It only starts this big, but it ends up this big. I love doing vases for this reason. Actually, I found somebody who has several very unique looking vases, which I hope to try in another review. But this was just, aside from that, it's beautiful. You can't even see the layers in any of this. I mean, if I get closer, you can't even see any layers in here whatsoever. It is completely smooth at 100 millimeters a second. That just, to me, is mind-blowing, and it's a testament to how well this filament actually works. So another thing I saw someone printed a while ago, it might have been Joel, was this trophy. And I've been eyeballing that for quite a while. I was like, well, this is a kind of shiny filament. This is actually a very good opportunity to print this model. So this is 100%. This is 100% scale of that model. And this is basically, my kids call it Barbie size. And it will end up actually going to my children to play with their Barbies. You can see down here though, there was a little bit of issue because there's no uh, support on this. And I think it might have been a little too hot for such small layers here, even though I had my print fan on there set pretty high. But up here, there were no overhangs, uh, no strings there. The bottom inside filled in all the way. I mean, I can just fit 
a finger in there so it gives you kind of the scale for how small this is. Now this one here is, oh I don't know, three or four hundred percent size I'd say. So it's it's hefty size, big enough that I can, you know, actually grab onto it. You're, yeah, yeah, I'm an awesome guy, yeah. Inside there, as you can see, came out really, really nice. All the way down there. You can see where the line, where the uh, inside perimeters had started and stopped because that's where their traction happened. But again, you can't feel that at all. It is so mind-blowing that you can see it, but you can't feel it. Also, that happens underneath each of the arms. There were those issues there. Now, up here, there was a little bit of stringing here for where there was the overhang to do the bridging, but that's because it printed that small section right there pretty much by itself, which I wasn't expecting. I expected it to go all the way across and then fill that whole layer in. And with this uh, pearl style filament, this was really nice to print in this. This also would look good in like a gold style of filament. But again, for this, it turned out great. I'm happy with it. Pull off these two strings and you would have no issues whatsoever giving this to someone uh, as like a little novelty gift. And the last print that we're gonna look at here, I had actually stopped because it failed. Now this goes to show that a lot of people say, oh, you print everything and it comes out perfect. No, I, I do have failures quite a bit and this was one of them. And this is what happens when you don't preview the model before you actually print. So if I hold this up, you can see here, it started to go out and come back on each side. Well, that's because this was the mother and me model that it's a mom that she comes up here and this is her legs and she's holding a baby right here on her top of her knees. Well, her arms come out and around like this to hold on to the baby. You need support under those guys and if you don't preview your model, this is what happens. You start printing in thin air and nothing happens and clearly it was not gonna make that bridge. What's, it was just not gonna work. But here you can see this was my 20% infill and fast honeycomb. It was turning out really, really nice but I had to stop it because of that issue. So this is just to show you what a failed print of something that I got pretty far into and I had to stop it because I screwed up and didn't preview my settings. So please, when you do your slicing, check in no matter what slice you use, check your slicer preview, make sure that you have support where it's supposed to be because if you see a print going out and starting in midair, that's not gonna work. You need to have support underneath that point. So I have to say yet again, Tona Plastics did not disappoint in the filament that they're producing. This is a limited edition pearl filament. So if you wanna pick it up, there'll be a link down below where you can pick it up. And again, there'll be a coupon code down below. So you better make sure you use that because you can get this at an amazing price. So please check that out. I highly recommend it. This is a really awesome filament. It is not as silky as some of the silk. Uh, so Beaver makes a silk filament. And that's the best thing I can compare this to. It is not quite had that sheen to it, but if you're printing like a, uh, I did want to print a really large uh, Leonardo da Vinci, I think it was da Vinci, or was one of the Romans, a, a bust of like a, one of those old school Roman sculptures. I really wanted to print one of those, but the print was gonna take far too long and I didn't think I had enough filament left on the roll. And I wanted to print it like full FT5 scale. So, I wouldn't be able to do that, but if I pick up another roll, I could potentially do that. And this, like I was saying, this is the kind of filament that you would want to use for that kind of print, I think, because I think it looks really, really nice. And, and a vase, again, aside from the issues of this, this looks really nice with the, no layers whatsoever. I mean, you really can't, you can't deny that kind of quality coming from the filament that these guys are making. So props to you guys at Turner Plastics. Thank you for sending this filament to review. I am very happy that I did. I love when I get filaments and they have good results that come out of them. So if you guys want to, again, check this stuff out. It's really nice. Thanks for watching my review, guys. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you didn't, dislike button. Let me know why down below. Again, lots of ways to help out the channel. You can subscribe. That always helps me. It lets me know you guys are interested in seeing what I have to put out. And I appreciate all of you that come back to watch every video I, I put out. I mean, your comments and everything are just blowing me away lately with how many comments I've been getting. So thank you very much. Uh, if you want to help me out financially, you can do that via Patreon. Donating a dollar more, I greatly appreciate it. If you want to help me out with not using your money, you can just update your bookmarks with some of the affiliate links down below. Do your everyday shopping there. No money comes out of you. Uh, there, there's no extra charge on using any of these. They just add a little slice. It's like half a percent, if that. That comes to me just because you use my affiliate link, and that helps me buy things for the channel. And I got to use my arm right here for that overhead shot. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's really something I was looking forward to 
uh, using some of the money I got to help improve content. I think that really was a enhancement right there. So again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope to see you next time. And as always, happy printing.